hello so in this video we're going to be demonstrating how to host a spring boot application in microsoft azure let's get started so in your favorite browser just head to start.spring.io from here uh, we can leave it as a maven project and the java language uh, we're just going to go for version 3 here of spring boot um we'll leave the defaults as they are we want to generate a jar file java version 17 is okay um under dependencies we're just going to um, enable spring web we're going to be making a simple api so let's just generate here okay there we go we have our file just extract the file after you've extracted the file this will be the file structure now what we're going to do is create a repository on github we're going to name it spring boot test there we go uh, we're just going to make it private create the repository After the repository is created, let's just copy that link to the repo and clone it on our local system. Create a folder, open git bash or any terminal. We're just going to git clone it. Now that it's cloned, we're just going to paste all the files that the spring initializer has created after they have pasted we're just going to push it so you can use any terminal or git bash to actually push this using git i'm just going to use source tree this application makes it easy to manage your git repositories so i'm just going to call it inception push it immediately to main There we go the push is successful if we go back to github refresh you'll see that everything is here and everything is in order let's head on to portal.azure.com from here you're just going to head on to app services you can type it in the search um, bar here as well just type app services there we go it'll do the same thing from here we're going to create our app service just select a resource group or create one if you don't have one already i'm just going to give it a name here um spring boot test uh two the runtime stack is going to be java 17 as we specified in the spring initializer just make sure if you're choosing 11 for example make sure in spring initializer it's set to it's set to 11 as well if 18 if, if azure supports 18 make sure that they are consistent here as well we're just going to use tomcat 10 we're going to host it on linux central us is okay um we're going to create a new service plan app service plan just select a pricing tier i'd recommend if you're on pace you go to go to dev test and uh, select the free um pricing tier i'm just going to use this so the app can just be faster um, we're going to go to deployment we're going to actually enable continuous deployment so that github can actually auto build and deploy after every push we're going to select our organization repository as well spring boot test that we created then we can review and create 
everything seems to be in order we're just going to create We're just going to wait for the deployment to complete. Now that the deployment has completed, we're just going to go to the resource. Just navigate to the app services uh, URL. Okay, it's up and running but it's not using our code so um, let's just go to our code and add a default method in your project folder navigate to source main java com example demo and then demo application just edit it in your favorite um, text editor we're just going to use visual studio code Okay, so after you've opened your applications class, um, we're just going to add a few attributes here. REST controller, just to um, indicate that this will be a REST API. Um, and then we're going to add a method as well for the default. We're just going to keep it simple for now. So if we open the main page, this should just show um, hello my virtual code. Let's push the changes. Okay, this failed because GitHub created a GitHub Actions YAML file that we need to pull from the repository first. Let's just do that. Now that it pulled the YAML file, we're going to push our changes. Perfect. Let's monitor the GitHub action on GitHub. In your repository, just go to actions. You'll see that the action is busy building here. Let's just check the state. If you get an error similar to this one let me just show you similar to this one where it cannot find the symbol um, this just means um, it's in line 6 if we open line 6 you'll see that rest controller here uh, is failing to find an import for it we're just going to edit and one for request mapping save this and push Let's monitor the GitHub actions. So the build is successful and the deployment has failed. Let's just check why. unable to find any artifacts for the associated workflow um, it's probably looking for a WAR file let's just go to the github action yaml file if we go back to our root folder under .github you'll find workflows let's just edit this workflow let's just verify everything is in order the version is in order Yes, it's looking for a WAR file, but remember, we said in the Spring Initializer that we wanted a JAR file to be created. So let's just modify this. Save it and push the changes through. 
I'm going through each and every issue so that you can be able to fix it yourself if you encounter it. Okay, the push is completed. We're just going to go back to GitHub workflows and uh, GitHub actions. The deployment has succeeded. Let's go back to the Azure portal. In the Azure portal, just navigate to Deployment Center, then go to Logs. You'll see that the deployment has succeeded. Let's go back to the page to see if our API method has been successfully published. Let's just refresh. It hasn't. Let's see why. If you go to configuration under general settings, you'll see that everything is looking good, but we don't have a startup command. So let's just provide one to actually run our jar file. There we go. So it's Java jar and then the absolute path to the Java file and then specify the server port. And that's it. Let's save and retest. Let's just refresh the page. Now it reflects and says, hello, my virtual code. You can also use Postman for this. Just paste the Azure App Services URL, press send. There we go. Hello, my virtual code. So successfully we've um, hosted Spring Boot in Microsoft Azure. Let's just change something just to verify that it'll use the continuous integration and continuous delivery. Go back to your demo application Java file. Let's create another method. API greet Let's see Let's monitor the GitHub action. The build is completed. Let's monitor the deployment. The deployment is successfully completed. Let's go to the Azure portal. As you can see, Spring is actually running in our app service. It was automatically converted into a Docker image and container by Microsoft Azure without us writing any Docker file. So let's just monitor the deployment. Logs. Everything looks to be in order. Let's just make sure everything is working as we expected. We're just going to copy this. Open a new tab. There we go. Hello, my video code. Remember to subscribe and like the video. Um, yeah, I'll give you a second to subscribe to the channel. Okay, thank you for subscribing. Um, hopefully. <laughs> so let's just make sure our previous method is also still working. Let's just refresh this. Our previous method is still working as well. So everything is perfect. So there we go. Thank you.